So, hello everyone, welcome to week eight, now week nine. So, as you can see, yes, yes, are you yet this week? Mm. Project will be for two weeks. So, uh, basically, let me what this year. Let's make the introduction for the challenge. So as usual, uh, we have some company, Idamuka Financial Ability on a company, and for this case, it's Ada Innovations. So it's a financial technology sector. So focus on Yarago, e-commerce, and banking, risk coaching, why don't you fraud detection option, tolerance takes marriage, social system. More um, effective, not if she has a good one. So, and as I know, go to the fraud detect me a bunch of keys, just and then you'll e commerce transaction. They are the Mula Bank credit transaction. So, if you remember, because you have it, yeah, insurance uh, credit for uh, actually, insurance must at an alarmist at light. Like put on for what type of people are we supposed to give the insurance in the nominal premium values and then try and the numbers. So in this case, demo fraud or demo. So in that in that case, man no low probability with a more low chance of getting this uh insurance below Nagarita number. Today we're we're going to detect fraud probably fraud your more potential electron number below man. Okay, so uh, good fraud detection greatly improves transaction security by using advanced machine learning model as a detailed data analysis. So we need to focus on two things. And then you man no milo, let you know, man no milo decide la marag, milo and data, me hal analyze that alcohol, me hal clean, no, me hal situation on the side milo. So, um, and will help us to prevent financial loss and build trust with customers in financial institution. Well, you design from the station system also makes real time monitoring and reporting more efficient. So, from this old thing, focus Maragal Labach on the business understanding. Well, I know that in your room, the demand put money now on line of fraud detection on Minnesota and then your e commerce line or the thing at all bank credit line. Over. So overall, busy project in the Netherlands and then analyzing and pre-processing transaction data. So um, for the e-commerce, we need a transaction data history in the middle of the Netherlands and then creating any during features that helps identify fraud patterns. So if some data are not there as usual, we can make feature during another move. So we can bring some data that are going to be valuable for our analysis. And then there is building and training machine learning models to detect fraud. Of course, this is the main part. And then, as usual, with the more as we can, as we have done from on the previous sessions, where weeks model performance actually evaluate in Aragon, and then we will make a specific improvement based on the uh, evaluation. And there is the deploying model for real time fraud detection and setting up monitoring for continuous improvement. Thank you. So we have the data, the source time the type which now the problem. The first one is fraud data. Fraud data here now e-commerce data e-commerce data action. Many so I focus me on so if there's an e-commerce uh, transaction, so we will get the user have an ID, sign up at a time, I let purchase time, purchase value, device ID, purchase yara go my letter. So, and then the source browsers, uh, A, June, Six, soon, IP address, class. So, we're going to identify the personality of the person that uh, that is making the purchase. Now, it's related with the e commerce. Get them in the loop, let's not get an And then, e commerce, let's not get a bank credit. Also, other things, I mean, delay from the first part, mention my girl, it's uh. Based on based on the transaction data, because I don't know based on the place they are uh, located. The data truth of the it also include using geolocational analysis and transaction pattern and information to improve detection. So let's do like based on based on Okay. So let's turn on the IP address to country dot CSV. So lower bound bound IP address and upper bound IP address. Uh, in our country. So this will uh, help you to find country country or not. 
yes corresponding IP address make any best country no it will help you to locate in the, the geolocation of that person okay so you will so based on location um, you will uh, fraud fraud levers analysis which so you can consider it as one of the features and then there is the cre credit card uh, data so in now the bank bank transaction data and specifically curated for fraud detection analysis system analysis so fraud detection like focus in the you know, just below bank credit uh, or the more bank your bank uh, transaction which has uh, fraud you know who detects the market it up on a little bit of china's future was not going to read the robot okay so time number of seconds elapsed between this transaction and the first transaction in the data date and then uh, we want to be between a demo these are anonymized features resulting from pca pca minus principal component analysis management so like when you know we might have this data which has mentioned by like that i'm sorry that's the normal which will never feature also uh we want to be 28 again not so much and that's a good that was 228 useful data which i get on five so sick i get to anonymize our goal or you can get to uh, and the Zenit data which they might be sensitive as uh, is not like le, for the privacy reason open like on each other so if you want to read 28 tableau or mention it in data which like you don't know the minus feature which is under the mirror which are there is some feature called v1 there's some feature called v2 v20 v20 okay. so amount it's the transaction amount in dollars plus the target variable where one indicates the fraudulent Transaction in their own it's non fraudulent transaction. So, like, uh, it's a little bit of a class no a little So, in our case, we have to use credit management or develop management system more in non class. We have to use the non class loan. So, this will be credit management. So here is the learning outcome. So deploying machine learning model in the flask, uh, deploying Aragalachu, containerizing using Docker, creating, uh, actually, in this case, like I literally talk about the Kali learning outcome, which was usual, actually. Creating REST APIs for machine learning models, testing and validating APIs, developing into in deployment pipelines, uh, implementing scalable and affordable machine learning solutions, developing dashboard using dashboard this week, okay? So in this week, there is the data analysis, there is the prediction, there is the evaluation, because uh, there is uh, a middle flow in the Netherlands somehow, so they will see the middle for the development, the machine learning demo, a middle flow in the track in the all the uh, situations or all the predictions, all the process in the And then uh, we might use also an API, fast API or Flask actually, Flask, or we will see that on the bottom part of the Document and then dashboard development in this week is using touch. It's also simple um, because if it's stream lit and the run again, that matter. So this week we'll use dashboard. So in the Zim, so what are the knowledge that we're gonna that we're going to get from uh, this week's now? So you will you need to make sure that you know how you, you know well about what it deployment and serving best practice for creating REST APIs, understanding of containerization techniques for real-time prediction serving, security consideration in API development. So yeah, keep those things in. Like make sure that you've got some knowledge about those things mentioned here, okay? So those are the competency mapping. Uh, so task one, task one, task one, um, task one, task one, task one, task one, task one, um so handling meta question about us not handling data cleaning uh ed and the merge data cleaning for geolocation in analysis lam sali those convert ip address to enter to integer format merge for data dot csv with ip address to country dot csv so it doesn't know your ip address location will have chosen come and it's part of the future we don't know part of the one parameter so then we need to merge it because of feature and change the surveillance especially you know this like normalization and scaling and then equal categorical feature yeah. and incorporate prediction and then model building and training color is going to be the regular to model several to put the community in my car so you can know which your live addition of tools you've added some tags model in order to manage 
So after the evaluation, you're going to choose the best model, the class I own. Like you, you can also set some uh, features or some criteria or measurement that will be taken to improve that model, the model to improve the evaluation for specific model. Okay. Training model for both credit card and fraud data data set. Um, so ML loops steps like versioning and experiment tracking used to like ML flow to track experiment, log parameters, metrics, and version models. And then model explainability at that. So uh, it's for the third time. So we will expect detailed data, by the way, on this week, level one. We will expect detailed data output, detailed data setup. So like if I wait a minute, I it. Uh, because we have to make our so we because I don't want to know because we want you to read clearly and not everything is outlined. And then model deployment and API development, like you can use setting up the Flask API. So uh, API development, I'm not like you familiar. So localizing the Flask application. So most of you get the command trade a lot as a localization part. So we will expect you to do the localization okay yeah so here are some steps that you can use for the localization and then you need to build in front of uh, uh, docker so docker it was not a mess because i think so for this case it's a must it's one of the task okay? and then finally there is building the dashboard using dash when i expect narago dash line or dashboard dash line Last in point out to dashboard actually jamra latu reads fraud data from a csv file and serve summary statistics so yeah summary um summary of the statistics and serve in the other nomen file okay so use dash to handle the front end visualization dashboard inside can be display total transaction as a guide to knowledge include marag general also dashboard line not a little bit of specific nagar include marag general okay it doesn't need to be like Zizi Castita Araglacho or Minch Araglacho, so you, you can add things by yourself. And then here are the tutorial schedules. I'm sorry. Yeah, you will see fraud detection in e commerce, and data donor, model building, training, including neural networks, because I don't email ops using email flow in Ireland, and model explain explainability in Ireland, and then model deployment and API development using uh, Flask and Landon. And then how to use uh, dashboard, dashboard. We're going to see this by next week, I think. Yeah, next week. So this is the task, this is the challenge. I hope you're going to get well with it. It is not going to be that hard because since we're familiar with most of the concepts that are mentioned here, it is not going to be that uh, hard, okay? So yeah. is there any question? Do you have any question you guys? She so thank you for attending. So I think we can end the session here in that case. So maybe some reaction that you've got this challenge, this week's challenge. Thank you, Danny. The rest of you are lucky. And that are you, thank you. No, she thank you, Martha. So like I think we can end the session here. If you're good.